we're here and it's a, a bit of a sad situation on the second day. But, you know, um, what we try to do in cricket and what we try to do at the U.S. Open and, um, you know, anything that Mac is involved in, we always try to put a positive spin on it. Uh, so whereas you're not, you're not going to see uh, some of the cricketers out there, what you will see is some better looking guys because we will be in studios and uh, we have Mac here with us. Um, a bit disappointing, as I said before, Mac. Um, a lot of preparation has gone into this U.S. Open, even back in the West Indies where we are from. Everyone knows now that the U.S. Open is not only about tennis, but also cricket as well. And coming into um, this part of the world, even the customs officers, the immigration officers, they're all talking about U.S. Open, they're all talking about cricket. Uh, one of the customs officers actually told um, my cameraman, Gary Barkley, that he should not play cricket. He should play a real man sport. Now, Gary wanted to tell him off, and I told Gary, Mac is waiting on us. You can't tell a guy anything. Let's go and play cricket. <laughs> well, Mac, that is the kind of sensation that you have created now with cricket in, um, in Fort Lauderdale area. Yeah, yeah, if you look at it, it took longer. In the seven years, now they have all recognition on this game. And even the first time Broward County mayors showed up opening ceremony, which is good things to see that. And also, if you look at it, uh, when the beginning we start, we have a hold up with the customs and immigration to the players came from overseas. And very given a very hard time, two hours to three hours, four hours exams. And now you go in, uh, a lot of Canadian players, they came in, just walk through it. They know about this tournament. County knows, restaurant knows. Even the park, recreations and parkings, wherever you go, they know about the U.S. Open as a cricket. They know the tennis U.S. Open and then uh, golf U.S. Open. That's why you format for U.S. Open from there. But it's a lot of work. For this tournament, we got rain start uh, last night and continue raining all day. Unusual weather. We've been preparing for last one year. For December 2014, we distribute the flyers. And the flyers for U.S. Open for this year uh, 2015, we have over 63 teams got registered and excited to come to play. 32 teams qualified registers, they participating. And that's not easy task if you look at it. We preparing this, people thinking is very easy to put tournaments together. It's a lot of work. We have day and night been working since January. February, March, and April, May, team registration, ordering the uniforms, ground preparation, ground insurance, and player sizes, if you look at it, balls, and then pay insurance for the grounds, and uh, TV, dealing with the TV is one other uh, task for us, been uh, past six years. There's a lot of TV, they cannot able to telecasting because they're not recognition games in the U.S., very hard times, and Win TV has been participating since day one. And they've seen the improvement from the day one, uh, 2008 to 2009, actually, they came along with this. Trinidad Tobacco teams came in, they came along with them also. So now they're growing uh, since then. If you look at they, we've been putting so many hours a day, night. Last year to until now, I've been doing 110% work just puttings together for U.S. Open. I go over out of, out of the states, putting tournament together, New York, Philadelphia, we put tournament, and we have done Philadelphia Independent Cup and Unity Cups, Seattle tournament. We what have about done Chicago? You all were in Chicago as well. Chicago, you came to Chicago yeah. and uh, see the games tournament there. They have 24 teams there also. So all the teams, they have chance to play the uh, U.S. Open. That's why we're creating let, let, more. Let me ask you something, Mark. Uh, you, you're speaking about preparations and, and all the hard work that goes into this tournament. Anyone looking on always think a cricket match is something very simple to organize. It's not simple at all. And if you think it's difficult in the Caribbean and in the West Indies, it's tenfold here because the West Indies Cricket Board, they would have organized two matches here in uh, the same broad county, and um, they haven't being back here, and sometimes people wonder why. Well, in conversation with the president of the West Indies Cricket Board, he did allude to me that 
listen, it's very, very difficult to host anything um, in America because these people, they always want everything in place. You have this to take care of, that, the other. It makes it 10 times as harder for you all. So that aside, we're looking at the financial part of it now. What's the registration for each team? Registration is $3,500 registration fees. So then how you do it? How, 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 how are you able to pay the, the prize money? How are you able to pay all these guys here who are extremely well paid? How are you able to do that? The thing is basically uh, hard times we had it to recognize these games. Finally, we on the stage today. I, will, I can proudly can say that I will not have to put money in for next year. And because uh, the tournament was not approved from ICC officially, they have to go to the USACA. You have a body been suspended um, privilege for last year. So this year we have direct with the ICC blessing, which is recognition for international players. And then a lot of teams, they're able to bring in the most active players from overseas. And cost, they went up too expensive, been carry on. A lot of things, they're thinking we're making a lot of money on it. This concept they had it, cricket council making money. So I'm just going to give you overview, which is people can think, but it's not reality, is not there. This tournament costing us over $350,000, which is the cameraman. They say, how you can able to put on it? Cameraman cost $30,000. Empire cost $20,000. All the number you add employees. Just our four or five employees we had it, they worked for all years, is salary along over $100,000. Putting things together. So, the thing is, I learned that the business because I'm truly a businessman, and I had done, whenever you start the business, you have to give them six months or seven months to kick off your business. Even uh, laundry mat, the convenience stores, the banks, all they need first year, you need to put money in, second year, you put money in, third year or one month, two months, three months. Cricket is similar, same thing. We took seven years to where we at now. So a recognition by county, recognition by Congress, recognition by um, Fort Lauderdale uh, mayors and commissioners to all. To you just say about the immigration and uh, customs recognition, our US Open. So it took that long. Usually what happened, a lot of uh, teams and a lot of tournament happen in US. And the people think they will gonna do very quickly and they make some money and then go on. They got failure. One time they did, they spend like twenty, thirty thousand dollars and they lose twenty, thirty thousand dollars and they never do it again. So similar same thing I said in college, you go to one year and two years and three years and four years, then you can become graduation. So cricket took seven years to become graduate from the US. Yeah. It's a long hard road, but you have stuck with it. <laughs> and of course, uh, now you're here to enjoy um, what is there to be enjoyed. Mark, I want to thank you for joining us. Of course, uh, stay with us as we have a number of other people coming on stream. Everyone, as I said before, uh, everyone knows about the Mac um, cricket tournaments and the US Open. Uh, just last night, I was in Walmart and a lady called her husband Mac. He was very, he was not too pleased, Mac. Uh, but it's it just to show you, Mac is getting into everyone's head. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back.